Satnam. Good morning. This is yoga from a calm place. This is, video is long enough for a group. However, I will give a, um, a time reminder in case you want to use it for the morning yoga. I'll uh, make a note at half an hour uh, to stop the video. So today we're going to be uh, practicing a Kriya for surrender and um, releasing or surrendering uh, the tightness, the tension that we habitually hold in the shoulders and the neck and the back. And it's a pretty um, long Kriya, so there won't be a super long warm up. And uh, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Um, oh, by the way, for those I haven't met yet, I'm Jenny. Um, I'm a direct pair over on PHP, and I also teach the yoga groups here. So if we haven't met in person yet, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys uh, when I get back in town. And hello to those that are practicing at home. Um, if you've been to my Calum place and we've met, I'm sending much love to you, and I'm so happy that you are uh, continuing your yoga journey. So let's go ahead and get started into this. We're going to bring hands either into Gyan Mudra with thumb and index finger touching back of the wrist to the knees, or with palms open facing up to the ceiling. And oh, let's get back a little bit here. Okay, so um, again, either in Gyan Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching, or the back of the wrist to the knees. And eyes are closed. And taking a moment just to briefly uh, check in with yourself, noticing what you notice, noticing um, any thoughts, any feelings that might be present for you. And noticing just where you are in this moment, rather that's emotionally, mentally, or physically, um, noting where you are making contact with the floor, um, maybe noticing any noises in your uh, immediate environment that are um, making their way into your, your awareness. And noticing any place where you might be holding tension or tightness within your physical body and seeing if bringing just some awareness or directing your breath to that area um, can result in a just natural letting go. Almost as if you're melting ice to water. Using your inhale to bring focus to that area and using the exhale to begin to release. And with the eyes closed, let's begin to focus up at the third eyes, the spot right between the brow, just above the brow line. With your eyes focused, you begin to Pull up on that optic nerve and activating the pituitary gland associated with the third eye or with the mind's eye. Let's begin elongating up through the top of the head, consciously pulling shoulders away from the ears and deepening the breath. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale, releasing, letting go. Continuing that long, deep breath. Inhaling all the way down to the navel center. And allowing that new breath to 
Fill your entire diaphragm and lungs up to your shoulders. And on the exhale, release, completely letting go. And continuing that long, deep breathing. Those three heart breaths. Inhaling through the nose, all the way down to the navel center. Expanding your entire diaphragm and lungs. And then on the exhale, letting go of that exhale completely. One more time. Inhale. And on the exhale, let's go ahead and release the hands. We're going to shake it out the wrists. Shake out the legs. And let's begin to open and close the fingers as we flex and shake the feet. And inhaling, really opening up, stretching up through the fingertips as we point the feet back towards the forehead. And then on the exhale, release the fingers, making those fists, pointing the feet forward and continue that movement. All right. And let's shake out the arms, shake out the shoulders, and the, and the legs. And then we're gonna come back into easy pose and we'll open our practice chanting all. And we're bringing our hands either into prayer mudra right at the heart center or bringing one hand over the heart center and the other hand over the back. Almost like you're giving yourself a big squeeze. And just really feeling that energy in your heart. And then we'll open our practice uh, by chanting the sound card Om. When we chant this, we are connecting with each other. We're connecting with the healing energy um, within ourselves and others. If you're not comfortable chanting OM, that's quite all right. You don't have to. But I do welcome you to at least hum along with. That way you are beginning that practice of self-healing uh, by creating this vibration with your with your voice, your uh, center of truth, um, and the words you speak out to the universe. So you're um, healing a lot of trauma it, just simply by uh, creating this vibration in your throat chakra, almost like a cat purring. Uh, so you're creating this vibration throughout your whole body. And um, yeah, and we'll chant that three times. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale to chant. Oh. tension or tightness in the lower back. 
It's also a nice massage for our kidneys, our livers, our spleen, who um, all those organs tend to hold on to a lot of stress, a lot of worry. And at the end of this career today, we're surrendering, we're letting go. So we're starting to release all those feelings back into the bloodstream and then we'll work them out through our practice today. And again, as you're drawing these circles, we're elongating up through the top of the head, inhaling forward, exhaling, rounding back one more time in this direction and then let's very gently switch directions. Again, with our practice, we can close our eyes, focusing up with the third eye. One more time, inhaling the center, and on the exhale, we're going to kick out our feet and we're coming into staff pose. So, our feet are directly in front of us, the toes, the feet are flat, the toes are pointing towards the forehead, and our hands are resting at our sides, and we're very gently pressing up through the heel of the palms, elongating up through the top of the head. Let's back up a little more. Ah, okay. Oh, there you go. That's a pretty good angle here. So facing forward and we're going to inhale, flexing the quads, the, the toes, and then exhale, pointing them forward and continue on with the inhale up. Exhale, point just for a few times. And one more time, let's inhale up. And then we're going to begin drawing circles with the toes in one direction, just for a few times, and then switching directions. Very nice, and continue to press up through the heel of your palms, shoulders point away from the ears, and coming to stillness, keeping our legs elongated up. Let's go ahead and bring this right foot to the mat. And we're going to wrap our hands around the back of that right leg, right between the calf and that, that behind the thigh. And it's almost like you're pulling your knee towards your heart. We're going to inhale that right leg up, really pointing up through the toes. Exhale down and continue that movement. Again, elongating up through the top of the head. Chin is up, face is forward. And inhaling that right leg up, stretching up through that big toe. Exhale down. One more time, let's inhale up. And on this next exhale, we're actually gonna cross that right leg over the left. So we're planting that right foot on the opposite side of the left leg. And then we're going to take this right hand and we're gonna plant it behind that right hip and resting our left elbow so we're coming into this half board of fishes, asana. So we're elongating up through the top of the head and then on the exhale, we turn to look over that right shoulder. Inhaling up, exhale, turn to look over the right shoulder. We stay a nice line twist.
Continue to breathe. Inhale, elongate up. Exhale, twisting up. And that's how you're bringing down a towel. One more time. Inhale up. And on the exhale, go ahead and release. Release your arms, release your legs. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So bringing that left leg up, so the knees pointing up to the ceiling, hands are right behind that left leg, and that left foot is flat on the mat. We're going to, and work very clearly with your spine here. We're turning the, the rolling of the shoulders away from the ears, elongating up through the top of the head, and then on the inhale, reaching up through that big toe, and on the exhale, gently lowering that left foot back down to the mat and continue that movement. Inhale up, exhale down. Taking complete breaths here. One more time, let's inhale up. And on the exhale, we're going to plant that left foot on the outside of the right leg. And once more, planting this left hand behind the left hip. And then resting the right elbow on the left knee. We're elongating up through the top of the head on that inhale. And on the exhale, trying to look over the left shoulder. And continuing with that long, deep breathing. One more long, deep inhale. And now we're going to bring the soles of our feet together into this bound angle posture. So the soles of the feet are pressing together. We're holding on the toes, ankles, shins, whatever feels comfortable for you. But remember, shoulders hold away from the ears. We're elongating up to the top of the head. And we're bringing the knees as close to the ground as possible. If you're noticing that your knees are all the way up here, you might need to bring your feet a little farther away from your body. That's okay. Okay, we're all built differently. And this will look different for everybody because everybody has a different body. So you do what is comfortable for you, but holding on to toes, ankles, or shins. And we're going to start some spine flexes within this bound angle asana. So we're inhaling the heart forward and exhaling, rounding back on the tailbone as we bring the chin towards the heart. I'm gonna turn them to the side just so you can see a little more kind of what this looks like. We're really leading this movement with the heart. Inhaling the heart forward towards the toes, exhale, rounding back on the tailbone, bringing the chin to the heart. One more time, let's inhale up to center, pulling that breath all the way up your spine. And on the exhale, 
Inhale, we're going to release this right leg. And we're going to bring it around behind us. And bring this left leg as close to you, uh, to your body as you are comfortable with. And we're going to inhale the arms up overhead, reaching out through the fingertips. And then on the exhale, we're going to come resting over this bent left knee. I'm going to move a little closer into the frame so you guys can see. So we're inhaling up and then exhale, resting down onto this bent left knee. And just taking a few long deep breaths here. Right 
to expand your bottoms here. Reaching out to that right arm. So we're starting in couch and it's up, faces forward, inhale. And on the exhale, bringing the elbow and knee together in the cat. And now and up, exhaling in the cat. Just a few times.
This is our inhale, we're reaching up towards the ceiling, and then on the exhale, reaching over to the right side. We're going to take a few long, deep breaths here. Bring a nice stretch in the shoulders, that right side. And then coming back up to center. Let's go ahead and cup the right hand with the left hand. And then you will pull that right arm up. And then on the exhale, stretching over to the left side. We're going to take a few long, deep breaths here. more, coming up to center, and switching arms, and exhaling over to the right. Back up to center, switching arms, inhaling up, and exhaling over to the left. Can we do this one more time on each side? Inhaling up, switching arms. And exhaling over to the right. And inhaling up, switching arms. And exhale over to the left. And inhale up. And let's go ahead and release those arms. Checking time once more. Okay, and we're going to bring, um, so we're going to come into Archer from here. So, bringing hands into Prayer Rudra, Mountain Pose. Let's step back with the left foot. And that back left foot, we're going to drop the heel so the outside of the left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. And the, this front right knee is just over that front right ankle. And now we're going to pull back on our arrow. So it's almost like we're, we're making a thumbs up. We're pulling back on the arrow. We're focusing as this front thumb, shoulders pull away from the ears. This back thumbs up that is that back arm is reaching out directly behind us. And it's parallel to the ground, that back right arm. So notice if you're slouching or if you're lifting it up out of its socket, you want to roll those shoulder blades away from the ears. And then reaching out directly behind you. That long deep breathing, or excuse me, that heart is actually facing in the same direction as your back left toes. And this is a practice, so <laughs> okay, I have to mention that part. And let's inhale. And we exhale, go ahead and release and step forward back into that mountain pose. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So, connecting here in mountain pose. And then we're going to step back with that right foot. Again, dropping the right foot so the back of that right foot is parallel, or the outside of the right foot is parallel to the back of the mat, and then that front leg comes forward, that front knee is just above the front ankle. So notice if you're 
Maybe that's our ankle forward or behind you. Okay, you want that knee to be right above the front ankle. And then as you open your heart out, you're pulling back on that bow. And again, your heart is facing over the right toes. Coming into archer. So shoulders are pulled away from the ears. You're focused, determined. Focusing forward in front of us. And taking a few long deep breaths here in Archer. to the ceiling, shoulders pulled away from the ears, and then rock pose, we're sitting back on our heels, elongating up through the top of the head, eyes are closed, no particular focus. Just a few long, deep breaths here. And then let's come laying down on our backs for a very short Shavasana. Here in Shavasana, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Our feet are falling open to either side. And we're coming into a natural breathing rhythm. We won't be here for very long, so go ahead and take this time to rest. Release anything that may have been brought up for you during the practice. You can release, let it go. Bring that right leg up to 90, wrapping hands on the back of the 
coming to your mat to coming into practice thanking yourself and really honoring the courage and the open-mindedness that it takes to continue on this path of recovery even when things feel really, really scary and uncomfortable. And even when they really suck, continuing this path one foot, one step at a time. And really holding that in your heart, holding that courage, that strength, that willingness in your heart, knowing that it is a part of you, it is you, you are that, that warrior. And really thanking yourself for that. And then we'll close our practice chanting Sat Nam three times. That now means I am truth. Inhale and exhale and inhale to chant. So
background. I hope you have a very beautiful day and I will see you when I get uh, back in town. Sat down.